Imagine you have a favorite mug from which you drink your coffee or tea every morning. It's special to you, perhaps because of its design, the person who gave it to you, or the memories associated with it. As a stoic, you are encouraged to enjoy and appreciate this mug while you use it, but also to hold in your mind that one day it could break. Epictetus is known to have said something along the lines of, when you kiss your child or your wife, say that you only kiss things which are human, and thus you will not be disturbed if either of them dies. This reflects the broader stoic practice of premeditatio malorum, or the premeditation of evils, which involves contemplating loss or adversity to prepare oneself emotionally and mentally. By acknowledging that the muck can break, you prepare yourself for its eventual loss, thereby reducing the distress you might feel when it does happen. This does not mean you love the mug any less, rather it encourages a form of emotional resilience and detachment from things outside of your control. Cynicism, as a philosophical school, predates Stoicism and shares the core principle about virtue being the highest good. However, cynics have a radically different approach when it comes to mugs. Diogenes of Sinope is the most famous cynic philosopher, who once was a son of a banker. Diogenes, after he got caught counterfeiting coins, was stripped of his citizenship along with all of his belongings, marking the beginning of his unique way of thinking. According to one of the stories, Diogenes, after losing everything he had, was left with a mere walking stick and a bowl. It was an ordinary bowl, which he used every day to drink water. However, one day, he saw a child cupping his hands to drink water from the fountain. Observing this, Diogenes had a realization that the bowl he possessed was an unnecessary luxury. If a child could drink water without the bowl, using his hands instead, then so could he. In that moment, Diogenes smashed his favorite mug into pieces, symbolizing the return to a natural, unobstructed way of living. This story encapsulates the essence of Cynic philosophy, a radical call to simplicity, self-sufficiency and independence from the external goods and norms that society deems important. If Stoics suggest that one should cherish their favorite mug with preparedness for loss, Cynics promote a more radical form of detachment, according to which one cannot suffer the pain of the loss if they deliberately choose not to own anything that could be lost. Diogenes was a ridiculous man. Very few people took his ideas seriously. Others would try to insult him by calling him a barking dog. For Diogenes, dogs represented the epitome of freedom in accordance with nature. For that reason, him and his followers became known as the dog philosophers, or kinikoi which eventually transformed into a word known as cynic. In the modern world, a man like Diogenes would probably end up in a mental asylum or jail. However, his philosophy could be practical even today. While the ancient cynic's lifestyle might seem extreme today, their core principles can still inspire meaningful changes in our lives. Cynics challenge us to critically examine the social norms and values that we take for granted. This could mean questioning the importance society places on status symbols, job titles, or even conventional path of education, career, and retirement. Simplicity is key, as Diogenes would argue. Material wealth and power hold less value than society deems it to. Cynicism teaches a healthy detachment from such ideals, which doesn't necessarily mean to live in poverty and beg for food like Diogenes did, but rather a life without dependence on materialistic possessions or pursuit of power. Let's go back to the example of the favorite mug, where cynics suggest that one shouldn't even own one to begin with. The idea is that by breaking his favorite and only mug, Diogenes saves himself the trouble of meditating and preparing for its eventual loss. This mug represents things that if lost would harm us in one way or another. In other words, not only does this mug represent material possessions like money and cars, but also people who matter to us. Some people would assume that cynics are out of their mind if they are suggesting to cut ties with our loved ones. However, cynicism approaches the concept of relationships and loved ones in a distinctive manner. While at one glance cynics are perceived as rejecting all societal norms and conventions, including relationships, their view is more nuanced than one might think. Ultimately, for cynics, the highest good is living a life of virtue in accordance with nature. Relationships with loved ones are valued insofar as they contribute to this goal. In other words, while cynics place a strong emphasis on independence and might seem dismissive of conventional relationships, they do recognize the value of genuine connections that foster mutual growth in virtue. Their view on life is truly unique and ridiculous to a certain extent. 
However, I would like you to take a minute and ask yourself, is there perhaps a mug that you're holding on to too tightly?